What's up gamers, Bryson here. As you guys know, I love traversing the metaverse. I've played a ton of different games and have enjoyed my process of becoming the Indiana Jones of Web3. And by Indiana Jones, no, I don't have a lasso and I'm not going through the okay. desert, but I am traversing different metaverses and learning more about different games every day. And without a doubt, one of my favorite games so far has been World Wide Web3. Today, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of information as to why I think World Wide Web3 is gonna make it. And also why I think it's a fun game to participate and why it is so important to the ecosystem of NFT games. So to start, for those who are unfamiliar and haven't seen my other video on World Wide Web 3, it is a metaverse on the blockchain that allows you to play with your NFTs across the game. Yeah, that means you can bring your board ape, your crypto punk, your lazy lion, any NFT that you own, they're trying their very best to integrate it into their game. And the insane thing behind this idea is that interoperability creates ultimate utility for NFTs, gaming. For example, we could hop into World Wide Web 3 right now, I can do a simple check on my phone, check my avatars and pull in my NFT directly from Nifty League or Nifty Degen. And as simply equipping it as my avatar, as you guys can now see, I have completely turned from a meaningless blob into Indiana Jones, the Fox Lasso character. And I don't think that's really a Fox, it's actually a Doge, but that's besides the point. We are now Indiana Jones. And the ability to traverse this metaverse do different things, visit different places, and complete different quests is absolutely insane in the membrane. Like for example, I could simply battle this character using my NFT on the blockchain and oh, what is that? It is my .eth address. Don't go dox me or take anything and definitely don't send me any weird NFTs to my OpenSea. But as you can see, I could run simple moves like Fractionalize, which gives us this very cool metaverse Pokemon theme, but with my NFTs. Dealing only 29 damage isn't going to be enough. I think this guy is a bit stronger than me. Oh, oh, and he is exactly a lot stronger than me and is not taking lightly to what's happening here. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna be able to easily get me out the way here, but it's okay, it's okay. We still have a lot, to, oh my God, I was so close to picking up that kill. Just not gonna be able to do so. And there it is, uh, the sake smash, just a little bit too hot for me to handle. And Bryson.eth has effectively fainted. So maybe I need to go level up before I continue trying to fight this old guy. But that's besides the point. The idea is interoperability in the metaverse. And I don't think there's many people doing it as well as World Wide Web 3 up until this point. Normally, when we think of metaverse, we think solely gaming. We think these virtual utility worlds where you can do all of this climbing. But what if I told you there was a social metaverse aspect in the game? Like, for example, watch this clip where I'm actually rapping and hosting my own concert in World Wide Web 3, all in the metaverse, but directly in the game. I uh, in the game and I ain't gotta take a backflip Got the youngin in the spot named Acid Man Yeah, you know the team got fans And you know we really like the jam I'm really going off Really got the team on one Got the team on two Got the team on you Got the game on the flame And I'm all in my lane Switch it up with the fun Like I'm on that pro pain yeah. I mean, look at this example you know People are legit that. partying yeah, in the metaverse And having a good time love listening love to music Additionally, you can play all types of games in this World Wide Web 3 metaverse. And they even have virtual land. So you can create apartments that allow you to change doors and customize them and take your NFT art and post it on the walls. It's like having your own virtual condo. And even more so, the cool thing about this entire ecosystem is that it is entirely free to play. So you don't have to actually spend any money to jump into the World Wide Web 3 metaverse and start completing quests. Now, I would say even more so, I'm an active advocate for World Wide Web 3 because I've seen the community firsthand and they are building something exceptional. So if you're looking for something fun to play, something to knock the stress off and traverse a new metaverse, I highly recommend you get started and jump into World Wide Web 3. And that's still a tongue twister that I can't get right. World Wide Web 3, World Wide Web 3, World Wide Web 3, World Wide Web 3. So it's... It's pretty hard. And lastly, if you're someone who's looking to find a new form of utility for your NFTs, then World Wide Web 3 is probably your place. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what your thoughts are on World Wide Web 3 in the comments below. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, become the impossible.